Really? He isn't. Um. The fuck just happened? Hi, I'm the Space Quest Historian, and welcome back to Space Quest V The Next Mutation. Uh, if I seem a little more excited than usual, it's because that, as of today, the day that I'm recording this, um, my speech therapist is working on me pronouncing things correctly, the day that I'm recording this, I just hit 2,000 subscribers. So that means I'm going to get my ass kicked in Doom by DOS Nostalgic. We're going to work out the details on that one. I'll announce when that's happening because we'll be live streaming that puppy. And, uh, you know, I I know that, um, you know, I'm, I'm not kidding myself. I know the number will drop down below 2000 again at some point because I know most of you are here for the uh, Space Quest playthroughs and uh, I'm not, you know, going to kid myself to think that everyone's going to stick around when I'm done with the series. So, uh, you know, it's just having a little fun in games and, you know, celebrating this you know, arbitrary number, I guess. But fun times it will be. And also fun times it will certainly be to um, get back onto the ship and leave this godforsaken hellhole because, dear God, I've had some comments that say that, that this is like a nightmarish place. This place has actually given people nightmares and I completely understand. It is just freaky. I think it's the music. The music really does it. And rolling along with the tumbling tumbleweed. I just have to do that every single time. Anyway, let's get back to the fucking ship. Holy Christ, get me the hell out of here. This is Eureka, go ahead, Captain Wilco. One to be mob flow. I don't know why she suddenly got all Gary Owens on us. That's just flows. Oh great, just when I was starting to finally unwind up here or something. Nah, no, never mind. I'll, I'll do it properly from now on. Ah. Ah, uh, back home with the killer android and the killer whatchamacallit face huggy acid pooping kind of thing. Good. Ah, uh, so good to be home. How's everyone doing? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Let's head off. T I'm picking up a weak signal on an emergency frequency, Captain. I am putting it on screen. Oh, good. Mayday, mayday. This is the SCS Goliath. Any Confederation ships in, the in range, please respond. Ah, uh, he doesn't look too good. He's got a quiver of the lip and everything. SGS Goliath, repeat, we're under attack. They came through... Doot, 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 shuttle Bay! Oh, that does not look good. I think there's a cream for that. You might want to look into that. Sorry, sir, I've lost the transmission. The message was too brief to pin down the exact source, but I've narrowed it down to the region of the Thrakus system. Meanwhile, on the SGS Goliath, shit is happening. Like, literally, someone poop. That was a fast pan. Jesus! Quirk, my boy! Yeah, that's not good. Okay, should we head to the Thraka system? I think maybe we shouldn't! Because then we'll probably get uh, shot to shit and mutated and pooped on and everything. No, I say let's head over to that uh, th those coordinates we found on the uh, uh, little bin, the little can there. The can of mutagen. Which was... I remember correctly, 41666. Yep. Off we fucking go. Coordinates locked in, ready to get underway. Let's do this. Fire! <laughs> so how's everyone doing? You rang? Uh, status report. I finished. Yeah, yeah, I know. How are you doing? What do you make of the Goliath's last transmission flow? It was highly regular, sir. Quirk sounded like he was in big trouble. Good. Don't like that, dude. You're right, I've never seen him so upset. Well, except maybe that one time when he fell on his fanny in front of Ambassador Wankmeister. I don't think David Sell knows what fanny means, in British anyway. Did you notice his face? It looked like he developed some kind of skin problem. I once had a nasty rash similar to that. It was awful. I couldn't sit comfortably for weeks. What should we do about it? I recommend washing the affected area daily and wearing an antibiotic lip balm. On your ass? Cool. Oh, I was talking about the message flow. Oh, well, in that case, I think we should try and rendezvous with the Goliath and render whatever aid we can immediately. Really? Is that really what we're doing? Because I don't think that's a good idea. You know what, Drool? I'm going to have a second opinion here. What's your read on the situation? Hard to say, sir. That whole business back on the planet definitely pegged the weird meter. Something really stinks around here. 
but I just put on a fresh batch of roll-on. Not you, sir. I just meant that something fishy is going on, and I have a sneaking suspicion that Quark may be involved. What makes you think so? Well, Clorox 2 is in the Goliath's patrol sector. If anything happened to the colony, Quark would have been the first one they called. <laughs> yeah. Uh, by the way, thanks for saving my butt back there on the planet, Drool. No problem, Captain. Besides, I've always wanted to try one of those quick draws. Well, you really saved my bacon. I'm just glad I can still shoot straight after the nerve injury in my hand. Gives me the shakes sometimes. Something awful. We're approaching our destination, Captain. <laughs> Thanks. The less said about that, the better. Uh, fire. Although I wish it were otherwise, there's nothing to shoot at. Uh, sorry, I missed regular speed. Thank you. <laughs> Ah, nice one. Standard orbit. That looks like a very pleasant place to be. We're being hailed, Captain. Putting it on screen. Hi. Unauthorized ship, you are trespassing in an Alpha-1 security zone. Your registry has been recorded and is being forwarded to the proper authorities. Depart immediately. Station out. Well, fuck you, buddy. Also, you look a little familiar. Have I seen you somewhere before, perhaps in an interceptor transmission, or in person at the space bar? Nah, couldn't be. All right, fine, I guess we'll go to the uh, Goliath's, Goliath's aid, but that means I have to bring up the coordinates, because I forgot to do that. Right, here we go. Three kids. That would be five, three, two, eight, four. Off to Thrakus we go! Yes, coordinates locked in. Fine, we'll deal with you little flappy, insecty mouth person later. Off we go, light speed! We are going to get our ass kicked. This can't be good. How about you, my little friend? What function may I assist you with, Captain? Uh, status support. I'm fully operational, all my circuits are functioning perfectly. Great. Uh, recommendation? None at this time, sir. Well, what fucking good are you? Oh, we're approaching our destination. Cool. Regular speed? I'm not worried. You worried? I'm not worried. How's everyone doing? No readings for the Goliath, Captain. But I am picking up an escape pod locator beacon on the planet's surface. Interesting. Perhaps we should orbit the standard. Yes. What is a, what is a non- Okay, my sound card just crapped itself. Anyway, as I was saying, what the hell is a non-standard orbit? Is that like when you just like spin around in a weird little circle or do a figure eight or something? No one knows, but... Anyway, let's find out if there's someone to talk to down on that planet. Hail planet. I was waiting for that sound effect and it never came. No response, Captain. The only thing I'm picking up is an escape pod homing beacon on the surface. And me knocking the fucking microphone. Cool. Um, act busy. What's alacrity, Mon Capitaine? Fine. All right. Uh, let's head down and see what's what. Actually, if memory serves, the, the yonder planet might not be entirely safe. I think I might need to confer with my science officer, who should be able to scan the planet. Your attempts to take. God, can I only do that from the bridge? I can only do that from the bridge. Cool. She's right there in front of me, but no, I would prefer to walk back to my captain's chair and call her up on the phone. I've been gone literally two seconds. Ew, piece of shit. Hello. Yes, you can scan the planet. The atmosphere of this planet is highly toxic to humanoid life forms, Captain. Thank you. That is all. Recommendation, put on a fucking rebreather mask, which is good because we have one. dum de dum Let's get this show on the road. We shall assume le position. And we shall wear this fucking thing. On we go. And the transporter just beamed me the fuck down even though I didn't tell it to. That's good, I guess. Well, this looks mighty tasty. 
Well, the interior of the craft is not visible from your present location. All you can tell from here is that it looks like an escape pod. Awesome. What is this little fella? A slimy gastropod slugs his way up of one of the fungoid stems. I'ma have him. Yuck, don't be ridiculous. All right, can I have a chat with him? Maybe he's sentient. It just stares at you as if to say, my, what an incredibly stupid creature. I don't beg to differ. All right, let's go check out this. Uh... Actually, let's just ha have a look around because this is a very nice place. Huge fungi resembling giant mushrooms proliferate in the warm, moist environment of this planet. Cool. And that really doesn't do uh, the absolute majesty of this place just as I feel. Look at this shit. All right. Let's head over to the escape pod and see what's what. Have a look inside. How's everyone doing? Ooh, neato nifty. Whoever used this pod can't be far away. No, because they left their jacket. This frock probably belonged to the recent occupant of the escape pod. Well, it's a frock. So I'm going to have that. Hello, what are you? You, mar you must be the escape thingy. A flashing red button catches your eye. You surmise that it is somehow connected with the homing beacon. Might want to turn you off just in case someone else is listening. Uh, and off we go. See, if you don't turn that off, immediately some uh, some pukoids, which are who are going to be the uh, uh, antagonists of the game, the transformed Goliath crew. That's not a spoiler. We saw that. Uh, just beam in on your location and go, Fuck you, buddy! <laughs> and piss... Piss in your face. That's not what they do. They shoot you. Anyway, how is everyone doing? We should just take in the vista, I think. Yo! We Dope. Hardly the uh, reaction I would have expected. But anyway, nice predicament we're in. This is one of my favorite screens, by the way. Look at the perspective. Help me, Wilco, I'm slipping. If only you had something for me to grab onto. I'm just gonna wait a bit. Because this isn't exciting enough. Oh no, those pukoid mutants found me. Do something, Wilco. Also, you. <laughs> uh, give me your hand or something and I'll climb over and pull you up after me. No, really, I swear. All right, here. Uh, my, our, our hands don't work. They're quite busy, but we do have the frock we just picked up, so off we go. Nice bit of underwear there, Wilco. Might want to pull those up when we get up. Get, would you stop stepping on my fucking hands? That's an interesting... Yes, I would like to climb up. Climb up. Or just call the ship. We can just call the ship. Flo, have Cliffy beam us out of here. It'll take a few moments to recalibrate the beam out coordinates. I moved five feet. Come on. Please hang on for a minute. That's what I had in mind. Oh, Cliffy says your present orientation won't fit within the containment field of the transporter beam. There's a clearing a few meters from your position. Can you make it there? Do I have any choice? Not really. Eureka out. Okay, can I climb up now, please? Can oh, there we go. She's gonna hand us a little viney thing. This vine appears to be your only means of scaling the cliff, instead of just pulling you the fuck up. Okay, never mind. Thanks, Bia. Because that is... Beatrice Wankmeister. I did pull his pants up. Good. Hello. Oh, this is awesome. Look at him squint against the camera. Don't ask me why they're carrying super soakers, by the way. Oh, dear God. Oh, God. Uh, well, we both took a hit, didn't we? Or did we? Uh, sorry, I tried to kick your butt back there on the planet, Captain Wilco. I thought you were one of those pukoid mutants. Call me Roger, and don't worry about it. You look smashing, by the way. I don't think I'm going to make it, Roger. The music is very, very telling on this point. One of those bastards nicked me with that awful primordial sh soup. Did they? Don't worry, we'll fix you up. There's got to be a cure. I'm afraid not. The only thing you can do is slow down the mutations by putting me into cryogenic suspension. What makes you think we've got one of those? But, of course, we do. But, Beatrice, you're asking me to freeze you, and we were getting along so well. I... Must admit, I thought you were real putts back at the academy, Roger. Oh, oh, don't worry. He is. But we don't have any time for that now. I'm probably not going to make it, and the Pukoids have to be stopped before they trash the entire Star Confederation. How? The Goliath could be parsecs away by now. We'll never catch them before they reach Starcon. They aren't going to get far without this. It's the Goliath's warp distributor cap. Now fucking kiss me, you dolt. Be it! You're a genius! I know. Oh, now put me in the cryo chamber. Quickly! 
Actually, you might want to take this first and then put me in the crowd. But who, who's this, Captain? Ambassador Whitemeister. She escaped from the Goliath. Their entire crew has been infected by some strange substance and are turning into hideous pucoid mutants. We gotta get her stabilized before she turns into her one herself. What should I do? Well, she fucking told you. I'm an engineer, not a doctor. <laughs> Thanks, McCoy. You'd better do something quick, though, sir. She's starting to look a little green around the gills. Oh, so she probably got Nick back on the Goliath and then leapt into the escape pod and, uh, well, might want to do something. And no, not put Spike on her face because that would suck for everyone involved. The cryo chamber is currently unoccupied. Cool. We should open it and stick our love interest into it, effectively rendering her a immobile damsel in distress for the remainder of the game. Let's have a look at it. Okay. The holographic image you saw so long ago didn't do the ambassador's beauty justice. Kind of looks like uh, one of those aerobic instructors from the early 90s. Anyway, but this will rapidly become a moot point if you don't figure out a way to cure her. Okay, let's have a look at this. Now we can cryo-freeze, cook, or defrost her. A lot of interesting options here. Let's try some of those. Might want to save first. Uh, first of all, let's try burning her to a nice crisp. This is probably the most sadistic thing you can do in any game I've ever played. B.S. Fless has been roasted to a toasty golden brown. Nice going. <laughs> Bia is dead. In an alternate future, she would have borne your son. In the future past of Space Quest 4, your son would have saved your life. But he, she didn't, so he couldn't. Therefore, you aren't. I messed that one up. That's one of my favorite lines. Uh, she didn't, so he couldn't. Therefore, you aren't. See, now I can. Now the text is not on fucking screen or anything. Okay, defrosting, that doesn't really do anything. However, there's actually a little instruction panel down here. Uh, cryo chef cooking instructions. Hot dogs, coffee, freeze ambassador, 10 seconds freeze. Cheeseburger fudgicle, rump roast, hot chocolate hamster, or a giblets, ambassador defrost. <laughs> He's gonna chuckle at the fact that the menu actually says how to freeze or defrost an ambassador. 10 seconds. So we cryo freeze the hell out of her for 10 seconds. Here we go. <laughs> cryo chef. Makes a nice little whistling sound. I look directly into my lights up here. I'm blind now. Bia has successfully been placed in hibernation. The mutation process has been slowed, but she's not out of the woods yet. We're in woods too? Cool. Well then. <laughs> Maybe we should go find out just what in the fuck is up. Also, where did those guys beam in from? So, is the Goliath around? Should we be making tracks? Apparently no one seems very worried up here. Anything? Oh, there we go. We found the Goliath, sir. Or rather, she found us. The Goliath's approaching at high speed. She's arming her torpedoes. Uh, cool. Should we take some evasive actions, maybe? We don't have any reason to retreat at present. I think we do. Uh, shields up. Who's got con who's got control of the shields? Not you. How about you, Cliffy? Yeah. Can we uh? No shields. Okay. Uh, raise shields. There we go. Aye, aye, Captain. That ought to do it. Hello. They shot at us. No fucking shit. A brilliant observation, Flo. Well, don't just sit there, Captain. Do something. She's coming around again. Now can we take evasive action, please? But, sir, that will take us directly into an asteroid field. It'll be suicide. Uh, okay. Let's risk almost certain death in the asteroid field. I'm feeling lucky today, boys. I think we can take the Goliath. Or let's just sit here. Maybe they won't notice us. Now, they have clearly noticed us. Let's risk almost certain death. See, we even got a point for that. Look at this shit. Uh, now you see me, now you fucking don't. Bye bye, baby. Well, this is nice. We're being hailed by the Goliath Captain. Putting it on screen. Good. I, I'm sure he just wants to congratulate us on a, a little space combat. Well done. Hello again, Wilco, you insignificant little pimple on the behind of humanity. Good opening line. Speaking of postules, Quark, you've never looked better. Ha, ah, you pathetic fool. You've no idea what you're up against. I'm going to puke out the entire galaxy, starting with Starcon. Not if I have anything to say about it. Ha, your puny ship is no match for the Goliath. Au revoir, probe jockey. 
The next time we meet, you won't be so lucky. A meteor just crashed into our ass, just for effect. Cool. Uh, Captain, I'm gonna have to make an EVA to repair the damage from the Goliath's attack. You can monitor me on audio over the comm circuit in my pressure suit. You know, for funsies and kicksies. Be careful, Cliffy. Yes, sir. Preparing to exit Pod Bay airlock. Oh, boy. I'm sure he's very good at this. I'm heading towards the port stabilizer. Sounds good. Made it. This will only take a minute. I just need to make a few minor adjustments. Oops. <laughs> okay, Captain, that's got her. I'm coming back. Well, as if we didn't need enough challenges. Say, Captain, am I just seeing things? Or is that gentleman floating out there in space with a surprised expression on his face? Our chief engineer? Yes, it is. Now we have to save his fucking ass. Uh, any suggestions? Well, you better hurry up and rescue Cliffy, Captain. His air won't last forever. Cool. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to save that till next episode because... Oh my god, is that an exercise in frustration. Might actually want to just save my game here and, uh, you know, not have to deal with all those... Because I think I'm actually on a timer as well inside the ship because, you know, the ship will eventually just burst into flames because all the asteroids are hitting it and such. So... I'm going to leave that until next week. Uh, but until then, please like, subscribe, do whatever you kids do. Do leave me a comment because, holy shit, I love the comments. And thank you so much for getting me to 2,000 subscribers. I am so looking forward to getting my ass kicked in Doom by DOS Nostalgic. It's going to be so much fun. Uh, so I hope to see you on the live stream. Don't worry, I will announce when that's going to happen once I actually know it, when it's going to happen. And, uh, well, until next time, I will see you around the Chrono stream.